Good morning, I'm Marcus Michaels and welcome back to the Michaels and Booth video blog. You know, for many of you, I'll bet you didn't know that the legislative session is back together for 2017. A lot of times we don't pay attention to laws until they're passed and we don't pay that much attention to the process. But I get a call about, about once a year when the legislature is dealing with different issues, I'll get a call from media for my comment. And yesterday, I got one that <laughs> I wasn't expecting. Channel 3 called and wanted to know my comment or my thoughts about a bill that made it through a subcommittee hearing yesterday that had to do with the passage of the right of citizens with conceal and carry permits to carry their weapons to the courthouse. And I hadn't heard about this bill, I gotta confess, I hadn't heard about it, but when I read about it, I realized it was promulgated and sponsored by Senator Stubbe from Sarasota, a gentleman that I've known for many years, and uh, is an honorable guy, but pretty, pretty sometimes controversial in his thoughts about uh, gun rights. And, and don't, 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 don't judge me, I'm a Second Amendment guy, I'm, pretty, I'm a gun owner. But there needs to be some real serious consideration when we think about bringing guns over to the courthouse. So I took a position yesterday on Channel 3 that some of you may see and some of you may agree and some of you may disagree with, but, but here's the deal. The bill was actually passed through subcommittee under this argument. The argument is, is that lawyers are unsafe when they're walking from their car to the courthouse or from the courthouse to the car. Now the bill would provide a responsibility for the courthouse to take custody of the firearms and to safeguard them while the lawyers were in the courthouse <clears throat> or others for that matter, anybody with a permit. And it would place a, a burden on law enforcement to stockpile, to maintain and to safeguard those weapons. And the sheriffs are up in arms about that. They don't like it at all. You can see Sheriff Ashley's comments are pretty strong on this. But here's my thinking. I've been a lawyer for 30 years. I've never, not once, been confronted violently on my way from my car to the courthouse. I, 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 don't, I don't feel like I need protection, nor do I know any of my peers or colleagues that have reported this, although Senator Stubbe made mention that several of his friends who are lawyers in the Sarasota area have apparently been threatened before. But here's the problem. It's very easy to, to, to claim gun rights as a general rule. It's very easy to, to fear the removal of our right to bear arms. I get all that. But you gotta understand the dynamic of the courthouse when you consider a law like this. The courthouse is full of people every day that are very challenged emotionally. They're at their worst. They're, they're under pressure for child support issues, uh, divorce issues, criminal issues. There are victims of crimes there. There are people that are under a lot of pressure. The, court, the courthouse generally doesn't see people at their very best. It's the last place around, maybe Maybe not literally, <clears throat> maybe schools come ahead of this. I, I've been thinking about this overnight. But courthouses are definitely a place where you don't want to introduce more weapons, okay? You don't want people walking in the front door of the courthouse armed, even if their intention is to give up their firearm to law enforcement. And if you ask the bailiffs at the courthouse and those charged with court security, they'll tell you that there are oftentimes very violent confrontations in the courthouse between people who have very different views or very different opinions. That's why we have a courthouse, is to resolve those issues. But people can be very emotional at the courthouse, and the last thing you want to do is put a gun in their hand. So let's talk about that a little. <clears throat> Excuse me. What we, what we know is that you've got emotionally charged environment, you've got people that are charged with, with keeping the, 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 the personnel of the courthouse safe, the judges, the, the paralegals, the lawyers, the, anybody that's there, you want to safeguard them. So this is a bill, quite frankly, I think is kind of a publicity stunt. There is no House equivalent to it, so it's probably not going to pass this session. But if you think about it carefully, you know, and if you have any interest in the process, let your state senators know, let your state representatives know, you're against this bill. We don't want any more guns at the courthouse. That's my two cents on the matter. I'm Marcus Michaels. Thanks for tuning in. If you've got questions or comments, give me a call forthevictims.com or you can just talk call our main line. Either way, I'll talk to you about it if you want to talk. Thanks for watching.